Hello there guys, it is Evelyn again. I am making a new video for you guys today on one of my older designs. Uh, so I'm remaking the one for my baby Yoda to hopefully make it a little bit more accessible to newer loomers. Um, so the design is essentially the same thing, I've just modified a few things. Um, and I'm hoping to break down some of the steps a little bit more to make it a little bit easier to follow. Um, so just a heads up though, it's not an entirely a beginner's project. The face is made with double looped bands, so they are a little bit tighter and more difficult to work with than normal double or single bands. Um, the ear design I've changed to make simpler and hopefully I can explain it a little bit better than the other one. So what you'll need for your little Yoda, Grogu, the child, whatever his name is now, you are going to need some green bands. I'm using the um, light olive green from the pink camouflage mix. You could use uh, lime green or olive green, whichever you have on hand. And then some tan or light brown for his little outfit. And then for the inside of the ears, I have two pink bands. And for the eyes, I'm using two little glass seed beads. So I've tried to pick out the ones in the mix that were slightly larger. Um, I kind of felt like the pony beads, even the mini pony beads, would have been too big. And these ones are a bit closer to the right size. If you would rather use wrapped black bands, though, you can use those instead. And I'll briefly go over that, um, how to do that when we get there. So, we'll start placing our bands, I guess. Um, so the face, again, I said is double looped bands. So what this means is you take a band, and you can stretch it out a little bit. And you can so twist it, and fold it over itself so that it's wrapped twice around. And you'll place this on the top diagonal. Another way to do it is to take a band, wrap it in a cap band around the pin, and then pull it across. So place your second diagonal. And then what we'll do is we're going to sort of make the ears on the loom and then pull them off. Anyway, you'll see what I mean. It might be a little bit weird, but it's the simplest way I found instead of making them under and transferring them. Um, this will be the easiest way to do it. You could also place a single band around, twist it, and wrap it around again. If you'd rather. So you have two diagonals, and then going down twice with double looped bands, once, twice. And then we're going to take a single band and don't double loop it, cross it, grab the bottom of your cross, twist it again, and fold it over these last two pins again. So this is what's going to make this little tiny knot at the end of his ear. So I felt like a wrapped cap band was too big and too clunky, and this is a little bit finer. I got this technique from Alex Creative Corner, if you want it to know. So now to make the knot, we're going to lift the bottom two bands over the top two. So if you look, the, your cross in the middle, there's one that's kind of going underneath the other one. Come from the side and grab the bottom band and drop it, pull it over and drop it into the center. Come to the other side, and now, I don't think it really matters which side you grab from, so grab it and pull it over to the center. So they should kind of bunch up in the center. When we do the other one, I'll show you um, what it's not supposed to look like. So if you take it off, don't actually pull it off, it kind of makes like a little knot in the center and that kind of makes our mini cat band for the end of the ears. So place this back on. Alright, and then we'll put our pink band for the center. So take this one, and you're going on the second pin from the top. Take your pink band and wrap it three times around this pin so that there's, or twice around so that there's three loops. Alright, so now I'm going to pull one of these loops down to the center. 
So I feel like it's best, oh, hopefully you can see it, to grab the center pink loop and pull it down to the bottom, second, to the pin below it. Okay. So now we can loom our ear up. So this one, just grab underneath your knot and place it around the pin above it. So you're kind of looming it, but it's not really got a cap band, so you're not really looming it. And then treat the pink band like a crossover band, so go underneath it, grab these two green loops, and then go underneath the next one, going through all those pink loops, and grabbing the next two. Alright, so now this end is open, so don't pull the very top pin off, but pull the lower two off, like this. And this is your ear sticking out, you can kind of see it like this now. Now grab the top two, so we're going to have to move it back down. I know we just loomed it, but you're going to have to move it. Grab these top two loops and place them back on the pin below. So essentially now your ear is wrapped around your normal stitch. Alright, so we're going to do this again on the other side. Hopefully if it didn't make sense the first time, we can do it figured out the second time. So underneath your diagonal, you're placing another double loop stitch, and then a second double loop stitch, and then a single band crossed. Grab the bottom of your cross, twist it around again, and place it back over itself on these two pins. So now, coming from the side, you're going to flip over the bottom two loops onto the top two loops. So if you don't grab from, I don't know, if you don't grab from the right side, your knot kind of doesn't hold. So, I don't know, I grabbed from the wrong side and it still held, so I'm kind of confused now. Okay, so we'll, I'm going to place it again. All right. So grab, anyway, so go in your, from the cross, grab one side of the cross, pull it over, and drop it into the center. All right, so it should look kind of like this, kind of wrapped around. Everything's good. All right, the second pin down. Wrap your pink one around three times. And then grab the middle of these pink bands and bring it down to this pin. So if you do lift over the bottom two here and you can just kind of tell that the knot didn't hold, just redo it and try grabbing like from different ways and I don't know. Because I have had it before where I grab the wrong band and it just doesn't hold, but I can't seem to make it replicate right now. So, grab the single loop, pull it over here so that your knot is kind of hanging out down here. Go underneath the pink bands, loom these forward, underneath everything, and loom these ones forward. So now only pulling off the lower two pins here and leaving this top one all attached. Now we'll have to bring down the top two loops from here and bringing them back to the pin they came from. Great, so now our ears are attached to the side of the head. Ten minutes in and we've only gotten this far. Alright, so now you can do your lower diagonal bands. So double looped from this pin to this pin. Repeat it on the other side, double looped from this pin to this pin. Now we'll fill in the center, so from our top center, a double looped. Now our second center to third center, double looped. Okay, so there's our face. The neck, we're going from the third to the fourth center with a double looped. 
Alright, so now we are switching from our double looped green to our double banded tan. So grabbing two bands together, and that's how it will be for placing the rest of the body. Go diagonally from the bottom of the neck to the side. Repeat that on the other side. So now we'll go down three times in each of the rows. So starting on the right side, two bands together once, twice, three times, and in the center once, twice, and three times. Sorry if my camera is shaking, it's kind of a new setup. The left side once. I don't really know if it's working better or worse than the old one. Once, twice, and three times. Okay, there we go. There's our baby's body for the most part. So now we'll close off the bottom. Diagonal bands from the center down to the outside. And from the center to the other side. Alright, so we'll make the arms next. I'll show you how to do one arm on the loom and one arm just on the hook. So on the hook, what you can do is take a green band, wrap it around so that there's four loops, take two tan bands, pull your cat band onto those two tan, and reclaim, grab that other end. So you're kind of doing a single chain, but we're on our hook. Now take another two pair of tan bands, pull it through. If you don't know how to do this on the hook, it's okay. I'll show you how to do it on the loom. Alright, so you have your cap band and three stitches of double bands. So you'll place this on this corner top pin just underneath the neck. I like this. Alright, on the loom we've got space underneath to do it. So take two tan bands and place them together once, twice, and three times, like this, just straight down in a row. And then our cap band will be wrapped around four times, four loops. Go inside your cap band, grab those two, loom them forward so that you see your teardrops. And then you can take this off, so go in through those top loops, carefully pull them off, and place here. All right. So we'll do the crossover bands on the body. So there's two sets of triangles, so the top one, I'm doing a double looped band across all three, and then the bottom I'm just doing a single band across all three. Not double looped, just placed like that. So for the eyes, I'm using a piece of dental floss to thread my eyeballs on to my band. And so I'm taking my dental floss, and I've got the both ends, and I have my band. I'm putting one end of my dental floss through the band, so that the band is now threaded onto the floss. Now, fold your floss in half so that you have both ends in one hand. So it's kind of like this. Now take your beads, place them over both ends of your dental floss. So thread both ends of your dental floss through your tiny little beads. Now grab your beads and pull the floss through and pull, keep pulling when you hit the band gently and it'll pull your band through your beads, like that. So now, take both ends of this band and place them around the top two outside pins. Alright, and then separate the center. If you're using wrap bands, just take your black band, wrap it around four times. Take your second one, wrap it around four times. Pretend these are black, not gray and then pull your green band through them, and then you can place these on just like that, and then separate the two bands. All right, so push these two bands apart a little bit, grab one of the loops, 
and bring it around the second center pin. Now grab your top loop again and wrap it around the second and third pin and wrap it around this pin. It's kind of weird, I know, but there's not really a better way to get them to sit exactly like in the center of his face. So this is how it is. Alright. So yeah, it's wrapped. The ends are around both the second and third, and then in between is just around the second center pin. Alright, so we'll go back to the bottom, and we'll cap off the center band here. So wrap a band so that there's four loops. And then the looming up is pretty straightforward. So just go inside your cap band and grab the top two loops, loom them to whichever side they come from, so I can tell these ones are coming to this side. So loom them over here, go into this side, these are coming from over here, so loom them there. And then if you go back, you'll grab your last two. So you can loom up the center all the way to the neck and stop here because we'll have to loom these ones first. So go into where you've stopped here, grab these, the bottom two, bring them forward so there's nice teardrops, bring them forward. When you get to the arm, dig underneath the arm through all those bands to find these last two diagonals and bring them to the center. Now we'll come back, so we'll go in through these very last stitch that we did on that side. Keep digging under and looming forward. So you'll see these nice teardrops created, which means that you're catching the right bands. Go in through all those arm loops, loom forward. All right, so this is probably the most difficult stitch. It should be okay. A metal hook might be helpful as well. So go in through all these tan and find those two green bands. Very gently pull them forward and bring it up to the pin. So just be aware that these bands are pulled really tight and they may be more difficult to loom. So if you go in through these ones, the top two should be your face or like these center ones that go straight forward. So I'll loom them forward onto the center pin, but I want to loom this one last, so just leave that one there. So go back in through your face, grab your diagonal one, make sure you're coming from the right direction, loom it on, and so now you're looming this one with the ears around it. Just ignore them, go under, grab those last two like you normally would, loom them forward, grab these diagonals, loom them to the center. Now we'll come back to the neck, grab your last two, they should be the diagonals going the other way, loom them to the side, go in here, loom the one with the ears on it just like any other band, place it forward, loom this last diagonal. Now don't forget to come back and loom the center last one in the face. I like this one to be on top because it, I don't know, I just feel like it fits the shape of his forehead better. Alright, so now we can tie it off. So go in through all these loops, grab, pull a single band through, I'm assuming you've done this before, pull the back one through the front one, and that'll make your slip knot. Now you can take them off. Again, be super gentle when you're taking the face off. Those bands are a little bit tighter than we normally would work with. I kind of felt like I had to keep the double looped face or else it would be too similar to um, other people's Baby Yoda designs and this is kind of my signature thing I guess. Anyways, so you can pull that tighter if you want. If your ears are kind of twisted or not straight you can adjust things in here. I've got a pink loop sticking out in a random spot for no good reason. Okay, so there you have it. And you might have to kind of push the eyes into the side that you want. If you like the back side better, which I don't know, I kind of do for some reason, you can push them forward to that side. 
Anyway, so the last detail that I like to add is take three more tan bands and slide them around his head so that they sit around his neck because he kind of has this like fuzzy little collar thing going on in his costume. And to replicate that, that's what I've done. You'll also notice my other, de this design doesn't have bands wrapped around the wrists. Um, anyways, that's just another thing I changed. If you want to do it, you could, but I didn't do it this one. Anyway, so you can hide that tail. So just grab whichever side you think is the back of the head. Go under a couple bands and oops, and pull this down. Unless you're using it as a charm and want to hang it on something. Then you can leave those loops out. But I'm just kind of tucking mine in. Anyways, I'll finish that later. There you have it. There's your little, tiny, adorable baby Yoda. I hope that this video was helpful and you were a little more successful making this design. Alright, have a great rest of your day. Be sure to check out my Instagram page. And if you make it, please, please, please send it to me. I love to see what you guys make. Alright, have a great rest of your day. Bye.